Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about deselecting tests with our hook, PyTest Collection Modify Items. So in the last video, we looked at how we could add markers to tests after collection using this hook, PyTest Collection Modify Items. Now, another thing we often want to use this hook for is deselecting tests. So we may have tests that are built to only run in a certain environment or when a certain environment variable is set. So it'd be really great if we had a way to filter out these tests when that, var that variable say isn't set. And that's exactly something we can do with PyTest collection modify items. We can not only add markers to tests saying that we want them to skip or X fail, we can also completely deselect them so that they don't even show up in collection. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that and open up our example here, this test modify collection.py. And we see our same two functions from our last example. We have our square function, which just squares a number, and then we have our test for a square function called test square. And the only thing we've done with this test is we've added this uh, parameterized decorator. So at pi test mark parameterize. So we're gonna be creating this parameter initial value that we're going to sweep over the values of zero through nine. So just range 10 values. So at the end of this, we'll have 10 different versions of our test, taking on the values of zero through nine. Now let's say we want to add an environment variable that controls whether or not we run um, the test when initial value is odd. So say we want to have an environment variable that controls, you know, we're going to skip all the odd tests. So how exactly would we implement that in say, uh, using this hook, this PyTest collection modify items? So let's go ahead and open up our conftest.py file. So that's where our hook is going to live, just like all our other hooks and our test fixtures. So inside of here, we have our PyTest collection modify items that takes items, which again, are just all of the tests that PyTest have collected, and then config, which is our PyTest config. So the first thing we're going to do inside of this hook is we're going to check the environment for this variable. So we're going to use os.environ to try to get this skip odds environment variable. And we're going to default to false if it's not in the environment. So we'll go ahead and set skip odds to false if it hasn't been set. And we'll go ahead and lower, uh, use this dot lower for our strings, just to make sure that everything is in all lowercase, just so we have consistent casing. Then the next thing we're going to do is just convert the string into a bool. So we'll set skip odds to true if our string that we got is all lowercase true. Otherwise, if it's anything else, so if it's false or if it's you know, any other word um, or letter, we'll go ahead and set this uh, skip odds equal to the bool false. Okay, so that's us extracting, say, a variable from the environment. Let's go ahead and get into the selection deselection process. So the first thing we're going to do is create two lists here, a list of the tests that we want to select and run and the tests that we want to deselect and not even have show up in collection. So we're going to iterate over all of our tests, right? All of our items. So for item and items, we're going to get the value of our initial value for this test. And we're gonna get that through item.callspec.params.get. And then we're going to get the value of this param initial value. So this is what we parameterized our test with. So then we're going to check to see if this number is even or odd, and if we have this skip odds variable set. So if we're skipping all the odd numbers, and num is an odd number, so if num mod two, we'll go ahead and move this test into deselected. So we'll add it to our deselected list. Otherwise, right, so if skip odds is false, or if it's an even number, we'll go ahead and add it to our selected tests, right, that list called selected. Okay, so that's how we're gonna sort our tests that we have uh, collected by PyTest. The next thing we're going to do is update the tests that have been deselected and the tests that we want to have selected. So to do that, right, to update, say, our deselected tests, we're going to call this config.hook.pytestDeselected. So this is how we update our deselected tests. And so we're going to set items into, uh, we're going to set items equal to our deselected list here. Then we're going to update, update the tests that we want to actually have run. So to do that, we'll set our items equal to our selected list, right? So now we've updated the tests we want deselected through this config.hook.pytestDeselected, and we've updated the tests that we want to have shown as collected and, and eventually run 
by setting this items equal to selected, right? Okay, so that's how we're going to control this. So let's go ahead and play around with it now. So we'll go ahead and quit out of here and we'll go ahead and run pytest dash dash say collect only on test modify collection.py. And without setting anything, right, we haven't set skip odd equal to true. We end up seeing we get all 10 of our tests. So test square zero through nine. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we set this environment variable. So we'll go ahead and set skip uh, 1p skip odds equal to say true. And we run this again. And suddenly we see we only have the even number test collected. So 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. All of our odds got filtered out. And it even shows us that 5 out of 10 tests collected, 5 were deselected. So our tests are no longer even showing up um, during collection here. They're showing up as specifically deselected. So this is unlike last time when we just added a, mark, added a marker to skip these tests. Now they're not even showing up as you know, available to run anymore. And then we can see if skip odds is, say, uh, false. So if we run this again, we can see that all of our uh, tests show up again, right? Because, you know, that bool evaluated the false, right? And if we set it to, you know, anything else, so if I just kind of mash my keyboard here, of course, it doesn't match, you know, true, that true string. So we don't skip odds, right? It only works if we set it equal to true. Okay. So that's a bit on how we can say deselect tests using this hook. And of course, you know, finally we can say maybe just run these tests so we can run it without setting this uh, um, environment variable. And we see that all 10 tests run and pass. And then we can run it say with, you know, skip odds equal to true. And then we see that five, only five of our tests, right? Only the even number ones run and pass. And the other five are just deselected. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, basics of deselecting tests using this hook. As always, I'll put a link down to the official PyTest documentation for PyTest collection modify items below the video. You can also find all of these uh, examples on github.com slash copy before arch under repositories and then under this PyTest repository. And of course, um, I've also written a number of guides on PyTest that you can find under the PyTest guide repository. And I'll put a link to this one on modifying collection PyTest uh, below the video as well. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.